Hello, welcome to Outside Xbox. You're watching Show of the Week. I'm Mike. And I'm Andy. This week I've mostly been playing Sea of Thieves. Oh yeah? How'd you get on? Oh, you know, good. Is that the best clip you could find? No. Yes. All right then, what have you been being so successful at this week? Well, I've gone all retro to celebrate the 20th anniversary of Goldeneye on the N64. God, has it been 20 years since Goldeneye on the N64? Closer to 20 and a half, actually. Hang on, let me just die of old age. All right, I'm alive again. Good. I'm back from the dead, <laughs> respawned. Fair enough. So let's talk about Goldeneye. Yes. Do you remember Goldeneye? I do, yeah. yeah. I never owned it myself, but I played it at my friend's houses. All right, well. Uh, PlayStation, I'm sorry. No, sorry, all right, chat over. Someone, <laughs> anyone else play Goldeneye? Yeah. Yeah, all right, James. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think, though, it had such an impact at the time? Um, I think, uh, for one thing, I, I'm not sure there were very many shooters that were kind of full 3D. Obviously, like the N64, its strongest suit was actual 3D graphics rather than sort of 2D stuff. Mm. Um, so it, it just looked way ahead of, of any other shooter um, at the time. Yeah, you look at it now and you, it, won't, you won't believe that. Yeah, <laughs> all those time. blurry faces yeah. and things. Taking but... like a flat image of someone's face and wrapping it around a cube. Mm. That was good. Yeah, it was, um, it was state of the art. Do you think it was because you could shoot people in different limbs and they'd react? That was good, yeah, good as well. Yeah, bullet holes appeared on in walls and stuff. That was a nice touch. There were did, loads of little details that were excellent. Did you ever do the thing where you'd shoot Robbie Coltrane in the legs and see how many times you could shoot him before he died? <laughs> I did not because I'm not a sadist. Yeah, me either. <laughs> the big problem with Goldeneye, right, at the moment, is that we're never going to play like a remake of it or a sequel or anything. Yeah, isn't there like a complicated rights issue? Yeah, so... Explain this to me, because I still don't get it. Well, for a start, we nearly got an Xbox 360 version of Goldeneye, right? There was a magazine in the UK called Xbox World 360, and they got a scoop and they had screenshots of Goldeneye running on the Xbox 360. Right. Um, but unfortunately, it required three companies to get in line. Microsoft, obviously, owned Rare, people who originally made Goldeneye. Activision owned the James Bond license. Yeah. Sure. And Nintendo owned the rights to Goldeneye okay. because it was a first party Nintendo title. I thought you were going to say Pierce Brosnan. And Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> and, and he was Tiro like, Kate. no. He was like, no. Brosnan chance. went ballistic <laughs> at the idea. Brosnan just lost it. Brosnan. <laughs> Brosnan was uncontrollable. Yeah. Throwing it's things around. Up. None of this happened. Pierce Brosnan is lovely. <laughs> He's a lovely, lovely man, I'm sure. Um, yeah, and, and apparently they were all in agreement. The game was like in development and then, it, and then that agreement fell apart. But um, we're now looking at a situation where Nintendo has launched uh, retro versions, uh, you know, or modern versions of the NES and mm -hmm. the Super NES. Yeah. And the next logical thing would be to do an N64. N64 Mini. Yeah, N64 mm. Classic, Mini, Man, whatever, you, whatever you like. Um, can't do it without Goldeneye, surely. No, I mean, it's the main game. It's the, it's the, the, main. the Nintendo 64 game. Yeah, but they can't do it. And who, who is, I mean, is it? Is it Nintendo's fault? I can't remember whose fault it was. I can't remember who. I think they it. would all agree. It's like, do you all want? Free, do you all want infinite money? Free money. Yeah. <laughs> no, Apparently, no. It was probably one of those arguments where they're like, yes, but the infinite money that we've got is slightly less than the infinite money that you've got, and that's how business things fall apart, as I understand it. Yeah. As you can tell, I know a lot about business. But they brought out that. Um, that it wasn't like a remaster, but it was like Goldeneye. Yeah, it was hilarious. Reloaded, Reloaded. or something like that. The one on the Wii. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's just Daniel Craig being the worst spy. There's that bit at the beginning where the guys are like, passports, and they're like, oh, we didn't bring any fake passports. Let's shoot the place Quick, off. let's go loud. Let's get out of here, Alex. <laughs> The bit with the the dam, right? The bit yeah. where you jump off the end of the, the dam and Goldeneye, super cool scene, bungee jumping, all that. He has a parachute and he throws the parachute at someone and jumps off without the parachute. Yeah. 
I'm like, what was your plan? <laughs> and he survives, apparently, because that's a thing that happens. Yeah, well done. He wasn't just smeared along the... You know how dams kind of curve? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He wasn't well, just a, a, a long red streak it's down. Fine if it's fine if it's curved, you can land on it and just slide down. I'm and sure, yeah, I'm sure Daniel out. Craig can do that. That works. I'm pretty sure Daniel Craig <laughs> could do it, yeah. Yeah, it, he couldn't... It sort of gave you the impression that you could aim your guns, but he couldn't really. Well, you could sort do... You, you could. It, I mean, you could, but whoever sort of, does that. It did a kind of auto-aiming thing, but then uh, you could hold the button and get that red crosshair that would just, yeah, it would just fly wildly swing across the wildly screen. around. Um, yeah. Until you finally lined it up. Yeah. And then you shot that tiny security camera or whatever it was you were aiming for. Yeah, oh, and you had the gadgets, you had like your wrist yeah, watch the laser that you used to get out of the train. Again, super fiddly, trying yeah, to burn trying that to do trap that. door. What was yeah. your favourite level? Um, oh, good question, good question. Um, I, di I mean, I did have a soft spot for the tank level, mm. where you go around blowing things up <laughs> in the tank. <laughs> because, excellent. yeah, at the time, that was, that was excellent. Um, you can just answer any level that didn't have you escorting Natalia around. Yeah, that's, that's a true. Fair one. <laughs> I, did, I really like the first one in the um, well, it's facility when you come down into the toilet behind right, the guy yeah, and then yeah, you're yeah. going through facility and like take. Yeah, yeah. So that's mission two. That's the yeah. um, just after the after dam, dam and yeah. then in facility. Yeah. I, I just love dam. I think it's a really cool. Like it sells everything that's awesome about that game. The mm. kind of largish open environments, the super cool graphics. Um, Adding like the secondary objectives yeah, when you're on the more exactly. difficult difficulty settings. Yeah, all that stuff. And then I mean, yeah, dam. If you play it on the easiest. Thing. It's literally just run and bungee jump off the thing. If you play it on the harder one, you've got all sorts of other bits and bobs to, to mop up. And then, yeah, it ends with that iconic scene from the film, yeah. rendered in, like, polygonal 64-bit <laughs> graphics. Yeah, off it the just dam. kind of yeah. flops off it. It's the secret levels as well, where they're like just super fan service. So uh, like the yeah, Moonraker, Moonraker yeah. one. There was Aztec and Egyptian, and Aztec was like Moonraker, and Egyptian yeah. had like bits from the Spy Who Loved Me in it, I think, but not based on anyone. Yeah, yeah. But they were they were like really fan servicey, which hmm. I really like. And they gave you the chance to get the Moonraker laser, which yeah. is a ludicrous weapon. <laughs> The guns in that game are amazing. Uh, the golden gun. Yeah, golden gun. The RCP90. Oh my god. The club. When you had two of the, the club. Not the club. The club's the worst gun of all time. It's true. Um, it's like, we used to call it the staple gun. When it we, is we a bit like it. a staple just gun. Just firing little staples. <laughs> Ow, quit it. <laughs> um, but yeah, while the single player was good, I mean, the multiplayer was really the sort of the big draw. It was god tier. Yes. Yeah, for, for Goldeneye. So um, <laughs> yeah, used to play that all the time like four player split screen like proximity mines yeah 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 uh, so golden good. gun odd slappers job. only slappers only yeah. and odd job being super cheesy you have a theory about odd job my theory about odd job is that i think the people who made the game got him mixed up with Nick Knack from yes. that other film who is very short yeah odd job is a normal height man in the films mm. But in the game, he's like super short. I think they just think kind they of confused. conflated the two. Yeah, there are a lot of Bond villains. You know, I can kind of understand why you might get things mixed up. But that odd job is definitely—he is a he's like the, tall man, he's almost the same height as Sean Connery. Yeah, he's like six foot two or something. I mean, his whole thing is throwing a hat, sort of on a level field. Yeah. He'd be and like taking people's, people's knees, knees. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that was what you couldn't be. Uh, couldn't be odd job. It's against the rules. Yeah, uh, you could be Jaws if you want. But I mean, why would you disadvantaging yourself? Yeah, because people could get up close and your gun just clipped through them. Yeah, exactly. So don't be Jaws. <laughs> but yeah, I am many, uh, many hours lost to, yeah. to Goldeneye multiplayer. <laughs> Not to be sacrilegious about Goldeneye, but there were some bad points about Goldeneye. That jungle level is Oh, awful. God. I, I blanked awful. that out. I completely it's blanked that out. Ho it horrible mess of blurry sort of nonsense. Uh, and no real structure, it's awful. And there's that one where you're underground escorting Natalia and they're just infinitely respawning yeah, that's bad great. guys as well. I used to get garbage. lost all the time in the statue graveyard thing. Oh yeah, thing. it was really, really yeah. difficult. I'm pretty sure I had like a, a game guide that came in a magazine or something that gave you the route because it was so confusing. Yeah. It was like, here's how you get out of the sodding statue graveyard thing. Now that you mention it, Goldeneye was terrible. Why are we <laughs> reminiscing so fondly about it? No, it was good. And let's be honest, 
There hasn't been a better Bond game. Mm. Is that a controversial statement? Mm. Is it? I really liked Nightfire on the PS2. No one remembers Nightfire on the PS2. No. But that also had four players split screen, multiplayer, and it was really, really good. You wouldn't think it would be hard to make a good James Bond game. No. It's got all the elements. Yeah, but some of them are awful. Absolutely mm. awful. Bloodstone, awful. Yep. Um... I spent the whole of Bloodstone running around just doing those takedowns, and that got me through like, yeah. pretty much two thirds to three quarters of the entire game. Just sprinting yeah. through, punching people unconscious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I, I can't think of any off the top of my head. Mm. So, um, so I guess it's the definitive, the James definitive Bond experience. James Bond game. For my multiplayer character, I always used to choose Trevelyan. Really? I think I just thought it was edgy to be 006 rather than 007. Okay. I was... Might be one better, might be one worse. <laughs> no one knows. I always chose, <laughs> chose Boris, uh, Alec, Alan Cumming. Because, oh, nice. Yeah, I because, mean, he the, because he had the loud Hawaiian shirt and it was embarrassing to get shot by him. Yeah, yeah you're a pretty easy target in that Hawaiian shirt. You're pretty yeah, confident right. in your skills, clearly. Well, yeah, because I was amazing at gold mode. I see. Uh, yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Ellen tells us the ending where they're making out is weird, so we're going to watch it and react to it. I, I would know this if I'd ever finished Goldeneye. Oh, this is like uh, like real YouTube. We're going to react to a thing. <laughs> Go on. Okay. Lay it on us. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Oh, jump. Oh, Hanging amazing. Off the helicopter. Such form. I mean, could they not have waited for him to get in? The guy's dead already. Oh, he's going to do it again. Probably get it a bit closer. Yeah. I thought. Oh, hello. Oh, they've gone to the jungle to oh, make out. Oh, oh. Oh, they're... It's just... What it's is like it? two shoeboxes colliding. <laughs> <laughs> Are they just rubbing the fronts of their heads against each other? <laughs> is that what that is? Oh, my God, look at his... Oh, his square hands caressing oh. her. <laughs> Rectagon, rectangular back. <laughs> This was probably deeply sexy in 1997. Yeah. Why did honest. they go to the jungle to make out? I think there's satellite dishes in the jungle. So they right. probably landed in the jungle. That annoyed me as well. You could shoot Sean Bean in the first level. Yeah. To like be like, right, well. Solve the problem. Solve the problem. And it's like mission failed. And I'm like, uh, no, mission succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah, but you're not like a clairvoyant, are you? You're supposed to, at yes. the time, he's your partner. It's one of James Bond's powers. <laughs> he not read the original Ian Fleming novels. <laughs> he could levitate and read minds. Is Andy okay? I heard the Golden Light Death music. Yeah, not as much as you're going to be hearing it in a minute because my challenge this week, scores on screen now, is to best you in the true test of Golden Eye skill. Passed down from generation to generation by the Golden Eye elders. License to kill, pistols, facility. License to kill, pistols, facility. License to kill pistols facility! Yeah! yeah. Oh boy! In facility. Oh. Better get myself a pistol, I guess. Mike versus Jane. These so controls who's... are so retro! Yeah, Mike, you're, right. you're at the top, right, Mike? Yes, I am. Okay, Jane is at the bottom. Mike, oh. you are playing as. Trevelyan. Tre Alec Trevelyan. Jane, you are playing as James Bond. I'm playing Bond. as Piers James, James Bond. <laughs> James Bond. James Bond. James Word is her Bond. In yep. a tuxedo. And if you, oh, I've got a gun. if you don't remember, License to Kill is the mode where you one hit kills. Yep. Where you what? So if you get hit by anything, you die. Is, is Jane behind that door? No. Do you not remember the facilities? No. <laughs> anyway, it's first to ten. <laughs> okay. And Mike, this is your challenge. So all, all, you, right. all you've got to do is beat Jane. <laughs> all I've got to do is Jane beat has yet to escape the room she's <laughs> in. <laughs> oh, body armor. Is that going to help me in this? It's not going to help you in license to kill, oh, Mike. Oh, what? It's Any just going to slow you down is what it's going to do. Okay. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Okay. Good. I love the panicky. <laughs> 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 First blood goes to my. Woo! I like to think that both Trevelyan and Bob are <laughs> just going. Ah! That's oh! what makes us professional super spies, yeah. Jane. It's the screaming. It puts the enemy off. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Slappers! Slappers! No, no slappers! Oh, no slappers. Are there no slappers? You can, I, no, you can, you I can could, slap. But does my license to kill apply to slapping? Is it lethal? License slapping? to slap to death. <laughs> can license, I legally slap? License to kill applies to your slapping. But if oh, I slap wow. him once, will he die? Yes. Oh, God. So oh, that would sweet. be the most humiliating. Look at all the body armor I've got. Can't go through that door. I'm in the facility. vents. <laughs> I'm in the crawl space. Yeah, you can't you get through You never thought here. of finding Piers Brosnan in the crawl space. <laughs> I've often had that in <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, we got Brosnan in the Piers. vents. <laughs> Piers, get out. The Brosnans are coming out of those uh, goddamn walls. Have you got a pistol yet, Jane? Uh, yeah, I got five pistols, Mike. Okay. I yeah. am just brimming. Is this the toilet door? Um, uh, Mike, I can't no, believe how little you remember 
A facility. A facility. No, it isn't the toilet door. Is this the toilet door? No. Where's Jane then? Upstairs. Okay. You have figured out where the toilet is. Pow! 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 It's a stick up. Bam! 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 No, but I saw your gun uh, poking through the well, door. That, that seems that's like what it. you get with the Cougar Magnum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 Stop helping can't Andy! Help us. Okay. I know you're also, the enemy. I'm an impartial. Also, we're playing on split screen, so we both... <laughs> yeah, we can see where we're <laughs> each other. <There's> no... <laughs> everyone knows what everyone is doing. I'm an impartial dude. Dun, 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 I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna go for it. Think fast! Whoa! Oh, you oh, the door. Door. How is that allowed? Yeah. Oh, is that allowed, Andy? Yes. yes. Oh, I'm gonna allow it. Died once. That's what you get with a license to kill. How many times have you died, Jane? Twice. Like eight times. Eight or nine times. Better get a gun. This is a pretty low death count for Sean Bean. Though. Although you can see where he is on your little radar. Oh yeah, I forgot there's a mini map. Yeah. Little radar. Yeah. Can I shoot through this glass? Yes. Oh no! Oh, oh I gave away my position! Show down! Oh. Show down in all Hanoon! Oh! oh. Where have you gone? The yeah. mini map is not much help. <laughs> it. It's very confusing. I keep trying to use the right stick to turn. Yeah. It's just a sort of weird. Panning, isn't it? Ah! Bam! Oh. That's full one. Right in the skull. Trevelyan's ah, no, 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 I mean, slapping, this feels... Slap slap, 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 all right, let me. I get three bathroom doors. Okay. <laughs> okay. But there are ten bathrooms, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. I get to shoot three. Okay. This one. No, Open this it. One. Open it with. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. No, I want to shoot through the door. No. Surely it's deadly through no, the door. I think you've got to open. Not in that one, James. Okay. All right. That was an incorrect. All right. Choice. Incorrect. Yes. All right. This same one on the other side. I'm on this bank, definitely. <gasps> oh! Yeah! You didn't oh! Shoot him! <laughs> Why didn't you shoot him? I didn't realize. <laughs> you didn't realize you had to shoot him. I just thought we were playing hide and seek. <laughs> oh, Deadly nice. hide and seek. Damn. <laughs> we're on, was it six? Six, one, one yeah. Oh, there he is. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. I haven't got a gun. Well, it all gets all panicked, doesn't it? No, no, I've got a Come back. There you go, there's one, there's one. No, 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 he's no. running. Oh, <laughs> in the back. So like a hero. Oh, Trevelyan. Yeah. I'm the bad guy. What, what did you, you like? expect? I'm the bad guy. Oh, I'm what's your bad guy? That's Yanis, isn't it? Yeah. Yanis. Oh. Right, pain in the Yanis. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Wow, Walter PPK. I've got your gun, James Bond. What are you going to do about it? Oh, give me back my gun. You're both double agents. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. Shut your heads. Oh. Pew, 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 you know pew. what I need to do is pew, yeah. shoot him more often. <laughs> No, also, because there's, there's a, a <laughs> light auto-aim, isn't there, that pulls your... Yeah. Um, yeah. But I'm, I'm, I, like, twitch away from it, because I'm, try <laughs> I'm trying to position the cursor. Don't worry about it, just there fire wildly. Yeah, That's I should just be firing more wildly. Do, 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 firing more wildly this time. These doors are all open. Ah, no, 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 <laughs> Come on out! Come on out! Where are you? <laughs> Where's the vent? <laughs> James Bond is just hissing in there. <laughs> Come on out! It's lovely and safe out here. Oh, do you oh, know? He's... <laughs> he's the it's fine. It? It's absolutely fine. He knows where I am. Come on out! Do, do, do. Oh, no! Uh, Trevelyan, you dick. <laughs> All right, well. You have to run at him and slap him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Dive on him. I might not be able to catch you as you fall. Do you, do you, oh yeah, sure. Sure. But you can still shoot me sure. to death inside the. Well, toilet. then you can hide in the cubicles. Oh yeah, and then <laughs> just pan from there. And then just be ready to shoot me when I open the door. I have then. a gun, Mike. He's I got, spawned oh, in the oh, vents. Yeah. I spawned in the vents. He's got oh. five bullets. You're gonna have to faint those five bullets. Out oh okay. And then get All him right. on the reload. <laughs> oh no! Oh, I fell. Oh, oh. Oh. 
I'm sorry, Jane. I had to be merciless. Man. My awards were where's the armor and most deadly. What are and your what awards? What sarcastic awards did I get? Where's most the ammo? Mostly harmless. Yeah, oh, that's, that's the one. Mean. That's me. Well, that's a that's a point for my yes. kitten challenge. Score on, on the, the board. Week. Yeah. Now it's time to see what's written in the YouTube comments and in the YouTube description for this video. Can't believe you wrote gullible down there. I know, right? First up this week, your comments on last week's show all about Monster Hunter World, in which Jane's themed challenge of the week was a hunt for the elusive Chupacabra. Oh, oh, it is! It's a Chupacabra! Whoa, it's it looks the like a oh boar. It's uh, like a hyena, right? Uh, hunt it. Oh. Yeah, oh. see that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It went, <laughs> don't wow. Do it. That was, it went, went down, down one shot in the mythical creature. <laughs> oh, boy, go and look at it. Go and inspect I it. I mean, no. At least skin it, Jane. Wow. I've had wolves that were hard. I'm going to stamp on its face. Uh, no. Commenter Ollie Longworth here with some dangerous talk, he says. This isn't really much of a challenge because of the lack of conditions installed by Mike and Andy. No, the only real challenge is having the patience to find the Chupacabra. Hey, believe me, that is a challenge. I shot so many balls. Meanwhile, commenter Avinash Srimadav noticed the following. Jane, I'm saving my ammo. Shoots a rock. Is that a Chupacabra? No, it's it rolled into a ball. Are you sure? <laughs> I mean, who knows? <laughs> it can no take many forms. What? It could have been the Chupacabra using its magical shape-shifting ability? Chupacabras don't have a shape-shifting ability. Chupacabras don't have any abilities, Mike. They're fictional. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And commenter Spartan Prime here with a polite request. Just a polite request. Please don't compare games to Dark Souls. But what about the upcoming Dark Souls remaster? Nope. Not even that. Um, I, I guess it's kind of like Monster Hunter? There you go. Next up this week, your comments on this video in which we took on the first setup mission of GTA Online's Doomsday Heist. Yeah. Mike, oh, you just sorry, ran me Andy. over. That's the opposite of what ambulance is supposed to do. <laughs> oh, great. Now, oh my right. God. Oh, wow. Your face is so <laughs> messed up, Andy. Oh, really? Does it look like that to you? <laughs> No, it yeah. looks fine to me. Lots of people in the comments were commending us on our performance, with comments such as this from Kathy Aird, who says, A train wreck from the first second. Well done, Oxbox. Hey now, I think a train wreck is the one disaster we didn't cause. Commenter Boo Maloney, meanwhile, says, I love how you guys still haven't learned how to cross a road safely. Ah! Oh! oh. Jane. Uh, Andy! Jane, you <laughs> ran under my wheels. You literally <laughs> ran under my wheels. I was under your wheels. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, Great I was even oh honking my horn. Oh, my blood is smeared on the tarmac. Hey, it's not my fault. We drive on the left over here. It's on the other side. And also cars are made of mist. It's kind of mist and then they pass right through you. Is that true? Oh, they know. Ooh, roadblock. Oh, Ooh, he's flipped and, it. Oh, he's pranked it. That's a oh, roll. No. That's a roll. Well, maybe Brian Maxwell's comment is more positive. They say, ah, Oxbox, the team of professionals. It's a good start. I've forgotten how to drive. I've forgotten how to fight. Why did you jump off the bridge? And of course, the ever popular grenade out. Oh no, it bounced. Oh, it was sarcasm. Moving on. Here are the comments on this video that remembers the times various villains saved the day on accident. Sure, he's sewn those cables into gloves, meaning he can do electric punches, but come on, guy, that's not gonna do you much good in a fight against Batman. I guess we'll just have to let him find out for himself. <laughs> Commenter Patrick Hjorth is confused by the electrocutioner trying to use electric gloves against a guy in a rubber suit. To quote Lucius Fox, good luck. To be honest, I think that's the least of the electrocutioner's problems. On the topic of mystical artifacts such as those in Skyrim and Lord of the Rings, commenter Astvigal writes to say, I'm just going to say it right now before something bad happens. Mike, turn that Palantir over to Andy right now. No, do not look into it. It'll make you manically depressed, lead you into madness, and you'll eventually try to set yourself on fire. Nobody wants to clean up after that. You had a Palantir. Oh, the little portable TV thing. Yeah, it only did one channel, so I got rid of it. it. Didn't even have 4K. It's probably for the best. Much like my Christmas, The Lord of the Rings is a tale of someone trying to return an unwanted bit of jewellery. No, I don't have a receipt. Yes, I'll hold. 
You guys are cool waiting, right? Finally, commenter Sam Gonzalez writes, You know, I would have settled for a 16-minute video of Jane's summary of the whole Lord of the Rings trilogy. Well... Oh no. Well, I think it's going to take a little bit more than 16 minutes, Sam, but if I just dig into the, uh, the appendices Sam, here, what have you done? To understand Boromir's uh, instinct to weaponize the ring, we have to turn back to the Third Age and the 24th ruling steward of Gondor, one Turgon, as you might already know. See, the thing about Turgon... And of course, ending in the destruction of the One Ring in the fires of Mount Doom. Bet you already knew that part. And Mike? Oh no, Mike! Oh no! I really did go on! Huh. Sorry about it. I just... Oh, Mike, there you are. Yeah, I just popped out for a coffee. Ooh, oh. thanks, I was looking for that. Yeah, no worries. That's it for Show of the Week. Thanks for watching, but before you go, ask not what the like button can do for you, but rather what you can do for the like button. What can you do for the like button? It's pretty much just press it, to be honest. Okay then, there you go. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Okay, lunch? Yep, just let me finish this quest and see if these one sec. Is your boat supposed to be upside down? <laughs> Ship, Mike, we master sailors call them ships. Sorry, my bad.